Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. Back for one more week of education. Today we're going to continue on what we talked about last week, which is receipts. How can I send my receipts directly to into QuickBooks Online? And that's what we're going to see today. So without much further ado, we're going to go straight to QuickBooks Online. Okay, there we have it. Okay, so here is my account. And uh, I talked to you that in order to send you the to send the receipts uh, from your phone, for instance, you can um, just snap a picture of your phone and send it to QuickBooks Online. But before you do that, you have to manage the forwarding email. So then you, first you gotta put the authorized email and and second you gotta go ahead and put uh, create a, a forwarding email so every email is going to be uh, q qbodocs.com but the first part is what you're going to create you can you can call it the name of your company so here i'm going to name it just my sample uh, qbodocs.com and then i just snap a picture on my phone and i forward it to um to quickbooks online so by by putting the forwarding address as my sample at qbodocs.com now keep in mind this one is going to be your email so you're going to send it to your email you're going to have to create that yourself so you can put your first name and uh plus something else if there is another email already this uh with with your email uh qbodocs uh, but you, you're going to create your unique email and, and then you want to make sure that the, the email that is coming from is, is the email in QuickBooks. So that, those are the two important things. Next thing, snap a picture of your, um, of your receipt on your phone and just email it to that, my, you know, whatever email, uh, qbodocs.com, D-O-C. Uh, DOCS.com. The first part is yours. Okay, so once the the receipt is sent to QuickBooks, this is how you're gonna see it. Uh, and then the next step is to click on review. Okay, the payee, I'm gonna select it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna select the bank. The date is here. You can put a reference if you want. Um, now the customer you don't have to choose because this is only if you're going to build this to your client. Okay. Um, so everything is here. The amount in, but this is not correct. So I'm just gonna. Uh, okay. Meals. Save next. Everything is good. Um, I can search manually, but I can create an expense here. So I'm going to create an expense. Okay, when I created an expense in QuickBooks, the next thing is to be able to match it on the banking transaction. So this is very important. If not, you're duplicating that expense. So we have two tabs here. Remember to duplicate your tab. You can just um, right click on the tab, duplicate, and then you can work with two tabs. It makes it easy for me when it, I'm looking for specific transactions. And I'm just going to put my date here, November 23rd through, you can put no November 25 just in case. And oh, voila! And that transaction that I just entered is now in QuickBooks and is matching to the right transaction. So if you want to click over here, click on the number 132.28. You can click on the expense. It's going to open up here. It's going to have all the information that I enter on the expense. And that's it. That is it, guys, for our uh, tutorial today. So it's quite simple. Um, I believe that this is a useful tool, especially now when you're getting ready to get your, your books, uh, 
ready to file your taxes. So make sure you add all your receipts just this way. Um, if you want to actually send it all to your computer, you can do it too. Um, and another way to send your receipts is just upload from your computer or upload from your Google Drive. And then the process of accepting is the same thing. So you create an expense, make sure the amount um, matches exactly. So if the amount doesn't match because let's suppose is a um, it's a restaurant uh, receipt that doesn't have the tip in there. So you want to make sure you put the tip uh, and you match exactly to what happened in banking. So very good tip here. Hopefully this was useful to you. If you like this video, hey, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll come back here over and over again with educational uh, tutorials on QuickBooks Online and also business advice that may help you take your business to the next level. So as I mentioned before, knowing where you are is very important in your business. And you can only know that when you understand your finances. Once you know your finances, you know where you are, you know your point of reference, and you will be able to trace it where you want to go. So end of the year, time to think about budgeting, uh, setting goals. So very important to bring your book up to date so you can understand all that. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, keep on smiling.